Hi, my name is Lisette Olivera. You can catch me playing Jess Valenzuela on National Treasure Edge of History on Disney Plus. And today I'm here with AV Club about to read some questions I have never seen before. Do you remember the first time you saw the National Treasure movies or did you catch up when you auditioned for the TV show? I do remember the exact moment. I don't, I don't remember the first movie. I think it was a little too young. Second movie, I was seven years old, but I was in the movie theater with my parents. I remember laying on my mom's lap and watching Ed Harris's demise. Um, <laughs> I got so upset. I remember crying when I left the theater being like, how could the writers do that? Um, and then I remember, you know, I remember back to that story now that I know the Wibs, who are the showrunners of the show and the creators of the original franchise um, movies that, you know, I love them. I'm like, thank you for giving me Jess. <laughs> Jess is one of your of the first woman of color to lead the National Treasure franchise. What significance does that hold for you? It means the entire world. My whole heart uh, was put into her. I wanted to make sure I honored uh, the stories of a dreamer and also just the stories of, um, of, of young people uh, that, that come to the United States to search for a better life. All those families out there, I know for me I relate because my family's Mexican. Um, I'm like, I'm like 1.5 generation I like to say, but um, definitely felt like I was being represented in this role and would have loved to seen somebody like Jess growing up. Uh, what was it like working with Catherine Zeta-Jones in the show? Did you ask her for any advice about the industry? 1,000%. I mean, how could you not? Especially if you know that she's, uh, she's one of the best. So I learned a lot of nuggets of wisdom from her. Um, she was an incredible joy to work with, and I think she took me under her wing the entire time. Um, she taught me a lot about the importance of taking your time in scenes and making sure you know you feel solid in your performance and then you just leave up you know the rest to fate and see what happens um, but she is so charming and even as a villain I still root for her 